Hey guys, welcome to Tomon's Guitars and Basses. Thank you very much for all the comments in the last videos. Lean back, make yourself a cup of coffee or tea, and we are going to talk a little bit about bass. The first question is from Belfalor. Thank you so much for this. I actually managed to slap properly for the E string. I'm struggling quite a bit to slap any other string though. I'm doing the same wrist movement and trying to hit it with my thumb properly, but it keeps ringing the other strings and ends up sounding terrible. Any advice for this? Okay, so I suppose you're playing a four string bass and you can hit the E string very well, but not the A, D or G string because you always have got a lower string there. So I think your problem might be the thumb. So first of all, check if you're hitting the string with the right position of your thumb. I would recommend you to hit the string with the middle of your thumb where your digit is. That's the first thing. Then the second one is maybe play a little bit around with the angle of your thumb. Um, maybe a little bit more parallel to the strings. That could maybe help. Um, really try to practice a lot just hitting one string. I would recommend you to start with the G string and then D and A. So the next one is not a question but a really nice comment. The Ambient Shrine is writing what a great interview by both Tony and Julia. Thanks. Thank you very much. The interview with Tony was very special for me. He was so open and I mean you can't compare Tony to someone else. He's like such a special and unique bass player. So I had a lot of gear and music related questions and I got great answers. So if you haven't watched the video so far, go and check it out. And the next comment is from Kabab XL. I hope that's right. Um, being stabbed by your own bass could be the strangest injury in history. <laughs> this comment um, is under the Booty Call in Step 5 video. Get on up, stay on the scene. Get on up, like a sex machine. Get on up, get up, get on up. And I have to be honest, um, the bass looks awesome. And I love the sound, but it was so uncomfortable to play. So the neck was really heavy. The body is, because the body is kind of small, so you've got the star, and it was almost impossible to play that bass while standing. I tried to put the edge of the star under my leg so I could fix it somehow, but it was so much fun. I love the sound, but it was really uncomfortable. <laughs> the next question is from Pete Carlton. He's writing, Hi Julia, when you're learning a new riff or a complete track, are you doing it by ear or from sheet music? Which is easier for you? Um, if I've got a sheet with no mistakes in it, it is the fastest and easiest way for me to just read the sheet. And um, when there are mistakes in it, it will take me a lot of time to figure out what's not correct. Then it is much easier for me to just listen to the original track and learn it by ear. And then I also remember it much longer. Um, for all the Toman videos, I normally um, learn the songs by ear. There are so many details in it. You could not write down like phrasing or stuff like that. So the easiest way for me for, for the videos is just listen to the song and um, learn the song by ear. The next comment is from Abella Law. I want to be a bass player someday. Comments like that makes me so happy. And I also want to thank you guys for sharing a lot of stories and also supporting each other. Um, really, really cool. And I hope you give the bass a try. The next question is from River Gooney. So Julia, question. What size wrap you use? The small or medium fret wrap? Uh, I haven't used a fret wrap for a while, but if I would use one, I would definitely put it on my five string bass and therefore I would take the medium and for my four string, 
I would um, take the small one. Um, because I know it's possible to put the small one also on the five string bass, but then you've got a problem that the low B string and the high G string is muted much more than the other strings in the middle. So it's cooler to get the medium one for the five string and the small one for the four string. The next question is from Jan. He's asking, can you do Rush? We already did Rush. Go and check it out. So the next question is either from Robert Hart or Robert Hart. He's writing, fantastic. What's the fussy thing under the strings by the bridge? So the fussy thing under the bridge are my grandma's socks. So she's always knitting me some socks every winter and they're super cool to wear and they're also perfect for the sound under the bridge. So thank you, Grandma, for the perfect socks. So the last question is from someone I really could not pronounce the name. I'm so sorry. But the question is, I was wondering what happens while playing active and the battery went empty. Can you switch right away to play passive and keep having sound? Yes, of course. If you've got an active passive switch, it's no problem. Just switch to the passive mode. But you have to remember that the sound is going to be different and the level is going to be different. So you have to adjust that right after you push the button. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and it was informative for you. And um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And I hope to see you soon in one of the next videos. Bye. Cheers.